Hey everybody, I'm M. Chen, and as you may have guessed from the thumbnail, Shadow Pea Shooter is ridiculously overpowered in the Temple of Bloom. Why? Well, the Shovel Zombie and the Umbrella Zombies are by far the biggest threat, but to Shadow Pea Shooter, they're nothing but a basic zombie. Of course, I still have to deal with the Gargantuars, which is why I'm choosing Poker, and you'll see why that's useful later on in the video. So starting out, I'm just gonna throw plants down on the sun tiles, because it's free sun, why not? And with that, I've completed THE SQUARE OF POWER! And of course, I'm using Power Vine again, because I just have to, it's become an icon on my channel. You see someone playing PvZ2, and they're using Power Vine, you know it's M. Chen. Anyway, the zombies are starting to arrive now, and I'm also using Puff Room to gather extra sun from the sun tiles that are really far on the right, to supplement my defense. I'm also gonna throw down a poker because why not? And the nice thing about poker is it's also capable of hitting both the shovel zombies and the umbrella zombies. With all that covered, let's jump into our first satisfying speed up. Right here though is where we have to shift gears. And that's because the Gargantuars are showing up. Now you may remember from my Wild West video that the Shadow Pea Shooter does not have enough DPS to deal with Gargantuars. And that's why I have Pokra. Similar to Turkey Pult, it is ridiculously overpowered against Gargantuar. This thing can solo a Gargantuar, and it has a piercing attack, which basically means that absolutely zero Gargantuars are getting past it. The one downside of Pokra is that it's not the easiest to set up because it's kind of expensive. But luckily Moonflower is awesome, so I now have a full column of okra. Also, incidentally, okra is actually one of my favorite vegetables to eat, so that's fun. This is also where Power Vine comes in useful. They can handle the imps, and while they didn't show up in this level, the dragonfly zombies can kind of be a nuisance for the Shadow Pea Shooter to deal with. Oh yeah, and I'm using Gold Leaf because this is the only world that it's usable in. I have one shot, so I won't miss my chance to blow, so opportunity comes once in a lifetime. With all that said and done, it's time to lose yourself in the music the moment you want it. It's time for the satisfying speed up. One Gargantuar left, and it's throwing out the imp. And it is still not dead because Shadow Pea Shooter doesn't deal enough damage, and Poker's hitting it, and now it's dead. And in true Ancient Ruin Temple fashion, our reward for not dying is receiving money. You know, all the attacking plants I used have the letters O and P in them. Coincidence? I think not. Anyway, next time I'll be taking on Far Future, which is kind of the polar opposite of this world because it has a lot of zombies with insanely high health. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.